Hello, it's Wendy from We Make Creations. Hello to everybody. Hope you're all well to this fine, lovely day. Today I'm doing one of these. It's a flip out with pockets and tucks. Really easy to make from book pages. This is probably a bit long, my prototype, but anyway. Um, it's just got this nice big tag here that's got some plain paper for journaling. I've put a flower there and I've put bits of um, uh, collage paper and I've put a big flower on there. That tucks in there nicely. Ooh. Down here I've got a, a fabric cluster and I've st stuck a little ticket in there which is actually glued to the Ah, the glue, because I put it in too early. But yeah, a little tuck spot cluster. And I've got a tab on here with some eyelash trim and open it up and it's got a little bit of, you can journal there if you so desire. And I've got some pieces of uh, collage paper stapled together and glued onto the page. And then when I glue it down onto my journal page, I'll glue it on the three sides so you can put a tuck down the back um, you can actually put a notch in there which I haven't done but I'll do it so you can see and then people know then that um, oh hello there's a tuck spot there so yeah so that's what I'm making today now yet again can't remember the lady's name um, I watch, like I said, I watch so many because um, there's so many clever people out there and and I just pick up different ideas. And I, I saw this lady do this and I thought, oh, that... And she used beautiful, really delicate pastel print and uh, it was just beautiful how she did hers. Mine doesn't look anything like it. I think this needed to be a little bit more toned down. And her strips of collage were, like mine are all the same size. Hers, she had some really long pieces and different sizes. And she had a bit of lace hanging down. Um, yeah, but just rummaging around with what I've got, this is what I put together. So it'll do me. So I'll do another one, show you how to do it. You need a page. Um, from a book. We fold this in half, line it up, and that is going to be our fold out. And I'm going to use some of this, I think, because that's a little bit. Um, more neutral so yeah I'm just going to rip it to fit the whole page I don't want straight edges so I'm ripping all round it if you like straight edge, edge if, you, if you like straight edge edges, leave it as is. But on, um, or you could use your tear ruler, which would be probably much nicer <laughs> than me tearing this. How I'm tearing it. And quicker. Right, that was much easier. But it's still too long, so too wide. Okay. Fold that in half. Get your glue stick and glue this baby down. Oh, I 
like this glue stick because you can see where you've been. <laughs> Now this is cardstock that I have am using here because that's what I had to hand, and but that's all right. It's given my um, fold out a little bit of um, oh oh that jumped up at me. That did it tried to attack me. <laughs> I think it's at the end of its life. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh dear. Just gotta grab another one. Oh, last one. Okay. It's hot here today. It's quite been quite warm the last few days. And um, yeah, the glues are starting to melt. I've noticed that this morning while I've been playing. Okay. Now, I didn't ink that. forgot to ink it. Ink it before you do it. Oh, is that not... That happened last time. Put that on and it, I lost my halfway mark. That's easy fixed. You just rescore it. Okay. Front page, I'm going to put a pocket on. Put this bit of... I wanted some sturdier stuff, so I'm going to make my pocket here, yeah, and I'm actually going to cut this where I want it. Because I have a white line up here, I've got to cut that off. I don't want a white line up there. Up the side of my pocket. That's still too wide. That's not level. That's better. Let's get this. In. Just cut it, hold it up here, and cut it like this. Now, I sort of like want to tear it down here like this without taking too much of that off. And I don't want it that long. So I'm just going to cut that off there. And I, I will ink this with my dauber. This is going to be your front pocket. Okay. That bit. Get your wet glue here. Down three sides. This paper I'm using on here for the pocket is from Medieval Mirage. One of her papers. This is. They're quite pretty actually. But like this lady who made these and showed me how. Yeah, you know, I got the idea from um, actually use rice paper on the inside of hers and that's probably why it was so dainty and so nice looking so yep yeah, that's my pocket down here I'm going to do a cluster so I just want a bit of lace so I'll cut a bit of lace off got some of this nice lace here a bit of pink I'll go with the peaches Bit of this creamy stuff. No, I had another bit of the gold there. That'll do. And I want a bit of this stuff to sort of go with the peaches. I'm going to stagger these. 
There's my good old trusty little stapler. And I'm just going to staple this in the pieces into place. And then I'm going to apply some glue in an L. Stick this down. And that's going to be my tuck spot. I'm not going to put anything in it until it dries. Now, let's make a little collage for this side. And I've already cut my bits of paper. Prepared them, I should say. And I'm just going to staple these together my tiny stapler. I've got a bit of ribbon here that I'm going to put over the top to hide the staples. And then I'm going to glue that onto the, the sheet, that side. And that side I'm not going to do anything to. This side here, I feel like adding a bit of stamping. You can do this, you don't have to. But I'm just going to add a little bit more text. Put some down there. A bit up the top corner. I might just run it off the bottom there. Yep, just like that. A bit of stamping. Because I can. It just adds to it. Um... I actually put lace underneath that before. I didn't do it this time. Never mind, I forgot to do it. So we'll make the tag. Right, while well, that's all drying, put that to one side. So we just get another piece of paper. Fold this in half. We'll go this way. Now where's my ruler? I'm actually going to rip this. I don't want it too long. I'm actually going to rip the edges off because I don't want... I want it to fit inside my pocket. And I'm going to get a bit of this. neutral stuff and rip it to fit oh oh I didn't mean to do that but I'll show you how to fix it okay inky winky around the edges this onto this page here. My grandson will probably come in and say, hi grandma. Hopefully he had a good day at school. Just heard the car pull up. He's getting the mail out of the letterbox. Because that's one of his chores. <laughs> yeah, make sure that rips down. Okay, we also have to glue this together, which I haven't done yet. Oops. Too much glue.
that. So that's my blank side for writing. This side I'm going to put yeah, some pieces of um, 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 collage. So I'm just ripping around this to... Hello, Grandma. Hello. Because mom? Mom's home. She's inside, buddy. Look, a tattoo. Oh, very good. Have fun, Mum. Did you have a good day? No. Oh. Wouldn't let go of me this morning. He clung like a little limp, but he did. I need some of this. I want some of that on this. Ugh. Another bit here. Down the bottom. I've got some fussy cut flowers here already. I really like that. It's a bit big though. A little bit big, so I like this one. This, this is the next best one. Oh, okay. That's too big, too tall. Oh, yeah, no, I shouldn't have used that. This one will do. Okay, I'll just ink it, get rid of the white, because I was cutting with my eyes shut again. <laughs> I haven't taken all the white out, and I'm not going to sit here and fussy cut the rest of it out. It's just going to get daubed, inked, distress inked to cover tone it, the white down. Okay, this is just out of a, a floral book. I just picked a whole heap of, I wanted some long tall flowers, so I cut a heap out. Just, you can do that. Okay, distracting, move that to one side. Oh, scissors is what I'm after. We're going to make a tag shape for the, at the top. So this trick of cutting off one side and saving it, and that makes you equal. And the other thing I haven't done is made a tab. Now, I don't have a tab punch, so I'm going to use my hexagon. Fiskars hexagon. <laughs> I can't even say it. Hexagon punch to make my tag. So you cut it out and then you fold it in half. And I'm actually going to punch my hole before I glue it because when I did the other one, I um, glued it, then punched the hole. And you know what? Paper doesn't like that. It does not like to be punched when it's wet. It objects. And it sticks and it doesn't cut properly. I found that out first time round. That's not going on there, it's going on here. So 
So I forgot to do that. Oops, there goes half the glue. Yeah, I'm busy, mate. You won't know this. Look. Close the door, please. <laughs> Bit of eyelash trim. Came out to show me his tattoo that he's stuck on his tummy. <laughs> he's six, God love him. Six and a half. Right, bit of eyelash trim. Okay. Feels like it needs it, something on the top there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just having a look around to see what I've got. That I, I've got a ticket here. a little hole in my ticket where the, the hole is. Grunge it up a bit. That will go in down there. That's the tag in there. We've got our little um, pages for um, collage, writing area. And when we glue it into our junk journal, we're going to glue it and make another, you could make another tag like that to put in down there. Now, um, as before, I forgot, forgot again, didn't I? Turn down so you can see what you're doing, Wendy. Put your notch in. So there, that's two. And I'm gonna make a few more, but not with you guys. Um, how easy is that? And if you had really nice papers, you could do a much better job than me. Um, I've lost my pin. Could be anywhere. What I mean, anywhere. Wow, I'm probably going to stand on it. I know where it went to. Oh well, I'll find it. Usually do. Um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, fold out, what did I call it? A flip out pocket and tag. But that's not what I'm going to call it. So have fun. Take a picture. Oh, and show. I didn't put my eyelet in. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's not as though I'm going to be pulling that roughly. I'm not. I mangled that one. Um, yeah, take, make one, put your stamp on it, and uh, show me a picture and, and show me how much better at this that <laughs> you are than what I am. And um, yeah, I'd love to see them. Thank you very much for putting up with me and watching me. Give me a like, thumbs up, and leave a comment. I'd love you to. And if you feel so inclined, subscribe to my channel for more quirky junk journal, ephemera making, whatever. How to cover up your mistakes. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.